Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and welcome to my video tutorial for the Cut Machine Mockup Creator. This mockup works with Photoshop and it's designed basically for mocking up cut files uh, and print files. And uh, in this tutorial we're going to go over the major features of this mockup and uh, we're going to do two projects specifically. Uh, the first project is just going to be simple. It's just a cut file uh, with a paper texture on it. And then later on in the video I'm going to show you how to make this kind of a cut file that has a corresponding print file so that they sort of line up together. Uh, the first thing you'll do is just download the product folder. It's going to be a zip file. Go ahead and unzip it and then inside you'll find a few different files and a folder. The first file here is an action script. It's a, a little toolkit that'll help you navigate the mockup quickly. Uh, the next file here is the mockup itself. Uh, it's a Photoshop document and it'll open up fine in CS5, CS6, uh, and all versions of Creative Cloud. Uh, the next file here is a folder and that'll have updates and extra stuff if I decide to add that in the future. And this last file here is a readme text file. It's just going to have my email address just in case you have any questions or comments, uh, along with some links to this tutorial video and possibly some more tutorial videos in the future. So to start using this mockup, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Photoshop document. I'll just double click it here to open it up. So here's what the mockup should look like when you open it up for the first time. It'll have a kind of a welcome message here, and uh, it's just an image on the top layer, and you can just hide that. Uh, the next thing you want to load is the action scripts and uh, those will help you uh, navigate this mockup because otherwise it has a lot of sort of interlocking smart objects and uh, if you're new to Photoshop the action scripts will make it a lot easier to use and uh, you can load the action scripts by going to window and then actions and it'll bring up the actions panel and odds are you'll see some default actions already loaded in there and uh, I really recommend that you clear those so you, go, you can go to the little corner menu there and do clear all actions okay and then you can do load actions to load the actions that came with this mockup. And uh, I just go back to the, uh, the zip file that we unzipped and it's the same uh, actions I showed you earlier, the cut machine toolkit. Just click on that and then click open. And uh, the actions should look like little color coded buttons. Uh, if, it looks like, if it looks like this, uh, make sure you go to that little corner menu and enable button mode. So now we've got everything all set up. We've got the mockup open and the action scripts loaded. Uh, the first thing you'll do now is uh, place a cut file. So a cut file in this case is a mandala, that's the default one. And uh, I'll click the place a cut file button to go directly to the part of the mockup where we can uh, customize that. And uh, here's the uh, default mandala. I'm just going to hide that. And I want to place my uh, cut file that I've already picked out here. And uh, I think the best way to place stuff in Photoshop is by going to file uh, and then place linked. This mockup works with PNG images or SVG images. It doesn't matter as long as the background is transparent. So here is my little little test file here, heart flowers cut file. It's just a PNG image. Uh, it just has one color, black, and then everything else is actually transparent. So I'll place that. And it looks just like this. You can see the background is transparent, and that's, that's really important. If the background is white, this won't work properly. Uh, just like if you sent that file with a white background to your Cricut machine or your Silhouette printer, it, it won't cut that properly. So make sure it's a PNG image uh, that's black and the background is totally transparent. And uh, now to save my changes here, once I'm, once I'm happy with the position on the uh, cutting mat here, I'll just save cut file changes. And uh, this will take us back to the uh, first page of the mockup and then it will take a few seconds and update it with our new shape. Okay. So this is what our uh, cut file looks like. It's done with green paper and we can change the paper color easily just by going over here to choose paper option. So just click that button. And uh, here's where we can choose our paper texture. Here's a, a custom paper texture option. Uh, and you can open up that folder, double click this uh, little colored box here and choose a different color if you want to. Uh, or you can choose from one of the default papers. I think I'll choose a custom color though, maybe something a little more Valentine's Day-ish. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'll do OK. And uh, just to keep things tidy, I'll minimize that group. And uh, if you did want to try uh, one of the other paper textures, make sure you turn the custom one off and then turn on the uh, default one. Uh, it does come with silver and gold and that looks pretty good. I'll show you that at the end of this tutorial. But uh, I'll turn on the custom paper texture and once you're happy with the way this looks, just do save paper option changes and that'll take us back to the beginning, the original mockup, and then it will update our heart. So now I've got our, our heart cut file done with this uh, pink paper 
And uh, you might notice that it sort of blends in a little bit with the cutting mat. So I made it so you can actually change the color of the cutting mat to give you a little contrast. Uh, so just it's this last button here, change cutting mat color. And uh, it'll reset it to a kind of blue color automatically. And then you can just use this hue slider on just kind of sort of scroll through there and uh, find a color that sort of offsets this a little bit better. I think since it's a reddish color, I think maybe it'll look good on a green background. If you want to, you can adjust the saturation, make it a little bit of a brighter green. But I like it a little bit softer there. And then when you're all done, when you're happy with the color, just click OK. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you wanted to save this uh, mock-up image here, uh, you just save it for web. Just go to File and then Save for Web. And uh, it's pretty big, so you can change the size here. Uh, you can compress it a little bit if you want to, but when you're, when you're happy with the way it looks, you can just save it to your desktop and use that on Etsy or whatever other uh, website you want to show off your cut files. So for the second part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a cut file uh, that lines up with a print file. So the first thing I'll do is place the cut file. I've already produced these in uh, Illustrator, so I'll go to Place Cut File, and it'll take me to this part of the mockup. I'll hide the uh, heart flower uh, one we did previously, and then I'll go up here to File, and I'll do Place Linked. And uh, here's the uh, cut file I made already, and uh, I'll place it. And uh, it's a bit small here, so I'm going to go to View, and then Snap, and then I can just scale it up so it fits in the corners. And uh, I've already made the cut file and the print file uh, perfectly aligned. So you just need to make sure that when you place them inside this mockup, they're also still perfectly aligned. So I'll press Enter to place this. And uh, I'll go ahead and save cut file changes. And we'll go back to the uh, mockup. So here we go. Here's our cut file. Now it's still doing the red paper. And instead of red paper, we want it to uh, print on that uh, the associated flower image that goes with this. So I'm going to still go to the Choose Paper option. I'm just going to disable the uh, Custom Paper option and then paste in the correct print file. So same deal. Uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, Paper options. Any of the other options you'd have to, just turn those all off. And then I'll go to File and then Place Linked. And then I'll click on the uh, associated uh, print file. It's a PNG too, but it's fine if it's a JPEG image. It's fine if it has a white background. It doesn't have to be isolated. And uh, same thing, I want to scale it up, but I want it to snap to the corners just to make it easier. And I'll just stretch it up there, and it'll just snap, and then snap. And I'll press Enter. And uh, this image lines up perfectly with that uh, black PNG that we put in the uh, cut file uh, area of the mockup. And uh, when this is placed and it's scaled up just exactly the same way as we did before, I'm just going to do Save Paper Option Changes. And uh, there we go. As, as long as your print file and your cut file are perfectly aligned, it will uh, work with this mockup. If there's something wrong, if they're a little bit misaligned, you'll see a little bit of a weird gap going on or some misalignment. Just make sure that when you use this mockup, everything lines up just the same that you'd need to be sure that your cut files and your print files in real life line up. Uh, because the Cricut machine, obviously, it has no way to tell where the printing is. It's just cutting wherever you tell it. So that's, that's pretty much it. I think that's a pretty good overview. Just If you have any questions, uh, probably the best thing to do is just send me an email and I'll get right back to you. I like to make little tutorial videos too, so if your question, even if it's really complicated, I'll just make another tutorial. Actually, before I go, I want to show you the gold. So I'll change the cut file here, so I'll go to Place Cut File, and uh, I'll just go back to the heart one. Actually, I'll go back to the mandala, and then I'll save the cut file changes, and uh, this should uh, it's going to cut it out of the same flower print, but uh, we'll change the paper next. So here we go. It's cutting the mandala out of the uh, flower print, so let's change that to the gold. So I'll go to Choose Paper option, and uh, I'll turn off my uh, flower print and turn on the gold. And then same deal, I'll save Paper Option Changes to go back to the mock-up. And there we go. So uh, hopefully this makes sense. Again, if you have any questions or comments, just send me an email. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.